Hey everybody, so I'm going to talk about how to take an Xubuntu or Linux image from a virtual box and insert it into or capture it into a FOG server. Once the virtual box Xubuntu image is taken from a virtual box and, in, and captured into a FOG server, then the FOG server can deploy it onto unlimited number of computers. And when you have a gigabit switch, you can do it dependent on how many ports or how many uh, ethernet cables you have. So this is an eight port switch and you can deploy an image from a server to seven computers at the same time in probably between 15 and 20 minutes. Okay, so the idea behind this video is I've already created my student profile and my Xubuntu, imi my Xubuntu image and it's stored in a virtual box. The virtual box is kind of like a computer, just a virtual computer. Uh, and it's going to be on this Xubuntu computer. So I've re-imaged this one. It's a recycled computer. I put a virtual box on it and I put a student image of Xubuntu into the virtual box. So my mission is to take that student image that's in virtual box and I'm going to put it or capture it into the FOG server so that the FOG server can then take that image and share it or deploy it to many different other computers. So what's the first thing we need to do? Well, what I've done is I've taken the FOG server and I've plugged it into the switch and I'm going to turn the FOG server on. Once I turn on the FOG server, then I'm going to turn on the, the VirtualBox Xubuntu computer and I'm going to set it up so that this computer will boot from the FOG server and as I do that, I'm going to have the virtual box um, have its student image captured by the FOG server. So let's get to it. So in order for you to do this, uh, to complete this step of taking an image and putting it into a FOG server, you have to have already completed the construction of the FOG server and the construction of a student image in a virtual box. So I'm just going to sign into my FOG server old recycled Xubuntu netbook and I'm going to turn on my FOG server. So I have to make sure that it's plugged into the Ethernet and I also need to make sure that it is not on Wi-Fi. So see how it says enable Wi-Fi? I'm just going to disable that. And then I'm going to go into the terminal. So I'm going into the terminal to turn the server on. So the way to do it is you have to hold down Control, Alt, and push T at exactly the same time. You're going to get a terminal that pops up. So the first line of code that I want you to enter is sudo service isc dhcp server, and, in, and I'd like you to type in restart. Then enter your tech password, and then write the next line of code, which is exactly the same thing, only instead of restart, you're going to put the status at the end. And when you see active, that means your server is up and running. Push Q and then type the word exit. So your server is actually good to go. The next thing I'd like you to do is go up to your whisker box in the top left corner, select internet, and then open up Firefox. You're probably thinking, well, it's not on the internet, so what's it going to do? Well, once Firefox is up, if you've already made your FOG server, I want you to start launching your FOG server using Firefox. So it looks like there's no server, and then we're going to go to the arrow down from the URL bar, and then just select your FOG management system. And we need to sign in. So username is FOG, password is just the word password, all lowercase, and then push enter. Now it's up and running. The next step is we have to create the image that we want the FOG server to capture. So we go to image management, which is this little picture icon. And then we're going to create a new image. We've already made the image in our virtual box, but we're going to tell the FOG server what the image's name is and what its features are so that the FOG server knows how to look for it. So at this point, I'm going to go into the virtual box and just make sure that I'm entering the details correctly. Okay, so I'm signing into the virtual box computer. And what I did is I just attach the VirtualBox program to my panel. I'm just going to click on it and turn it on. Let's say I'm going to be moving the new Xubuntu, this image. 
So I need the name and it's got to be, you want to put it in exactly as it's written. So it says new X Ubuntu server. I'm going to go over here and type it in exactly as the name was shown on the other screen. Good. Now the next thing, you could give it a description. You don't have to. And once you've given it an image description, then storage group, just leave it as it is. Operating system you need to change. So click the drop down and select Linux because this is a Linux operating system. I uh, leave everything else as it is. And for speed of the switch, I recommend, according to Aaron, he said, drop compression rates all the way down to zero and then just click add. But the next thing we have to do is this VirtualBox computer, when it runs, like when we turn it on, we want it to recognize the fog server and we want the fog server to take this computer and register it as a host. So the way to do it is we have to take the virtual box and get it to boot through the fog server. Now how on earth do we do it? Well, the fog server is already running. So host registry, we don't do anything with the fog server to do that. What we have to do now is we have to get the virtual box to boot. So we select the image that we want and we're going to go to settings. Now, before we click settings, what I recommend that you do is plug in your ethernet cable and make sure that we're connected to ethernet and not connected to Wi-Fi. So we're just going to make sure that Wi-Fi is not enabled. So it's not checked off. Perfect. And now we click on settings and in settings, there's a, there are a few options that we need to adjust. So we'll click on system. We need to make sure that the network has been checked off and moved to the top of the boot order because we want the computer to boot to the network first. Then we go to network and we're going to select enable network adapter. Make sure it's on the bridged adapter. And now we have to pick which one is actually the switch that we want it to, to work with. So it was on WLP. I'm going to switch it to this one. And then I'm going to double check my advance, make sure that it's actually got the right switch there. That looks like it's the correct name of the switch. Click OK. And then I'm going to start it. And let's see what it does. So again, both computers are connected via Ethernet cable to the switch. And this should allow this computer to recognize and boot from the server because I set it to boot to the network first. Looks like it's working. So now I'm going to, as soon as the white screen pops up, push the arrow down. You want to catch it quicker. It's going to start to try and boot. Now select perform full host registry and push enter. Push enter to enter the host name for this computer. It seems like it's going to take it now. Get enter question mark and then push enter. Now what you need to do is try and find like, there's a bunch of images on this computer uh, or there's a bunch of images already in that fog server. But it, you, what you have to do is tell it which image you want the fog server to register with this computer so that it knows which image to take from the virtual box. You have to make sure that we select that one when you register the virtual box netbook. And the new X Ubuntu server can be seen right here, ID number six. So we're just going to push six and then enter. Would you like to associate the host with groups? No. Uh, Snap-ins? No. Associate product, product key? No. Uh, domain? No. Enter primary user? Just push enter. Push enter again, push enter again. Deploy? No. And then push enter. So now it's going to register the host. So this VirtualBox computer becomes a registered host in this fog server computer. And that will allow us then to take the fog server computer and we're going to assign a task to the host in the fog server to capture the image from this computer and put it onto this one. So looking back at the VirtualBox computer, this host is now registered. So I'm going to close the VirtualBox off. The, re the reason you have to close it is you want it to boot again. The next time this boots, the fog server computer is going to try and capture the image, the new Xubuntu server image. From what that means is the fog server is waiting for our registered host, which was this virtual box, to turn on again. And as soon as it's turned on and connected to the network, 
this fog server is going to grab that image and capture it and put it into the fog server for storage for deploying later. You ready? So we go to the virtual box. Again, we're going to start it up. So right now the fog server is looking at this computer. It recognizes it as a host. It's going to say, hey, you've got an image on and I want that image. Now when you get to this stage, it looks like it's working. It's checking EXTFS volume. All right, so the progress bars are up now. And you'll see the, the speed of the transfer of the image to the fog server. So it's moving very, very quick. The idea is that once the virtual box image is captured by the fog server, then we're going to take the fog server, making sure it's active. We plug in the desktop computer or any other computer. We're going to adjust the bias so that that computer boots from the network. And then the fog server will deploy the image to the other computer. Okay, so I put the virtual box away. And now what I'm going to do is take the Ethernet connector and I'm going to plug it into the, uh, the back of a, of a desktop to this computer as I want to turn it on. And then I'm going to go in and adjust the bias. Now you might have to push F2 or F10. It depends on the computer. This one requires an F10 uh, option to adjust the bias. And I'm going to get an English screen. Just push enter. Uh, arrow to the right to storage and then arrow down to boot order then push enter. We want to make sure that the Broadcom Ethernet controller or an NIC or a NIC card uh, would, or uh, any type of a, an Ethernet controller or, or network controller, we want to move that to the top position. So to move the different options, let's say I wanted to move this one or hard drive to the top, we would just push enter to select it and then you can move it up and down. But we don't want it at the top, we want the Broadcom option at the top. I'm going to make sure it's at the top, push enter, and then push F10 to save it. And now you can push F10 again, and it'll take you to the far left file and save changes, push enter, and it's going to save the changes. So it's going to try and find it. And then we're going to see the same screen that we saw in the virtual box before, a white deploy fog server screen. So we want to click the arrow down as soon as the white screen appears arrow down and this time instead of going to registering the host we want to go to deploy image and then push enter the username is just fog and the password is just password all lowercase push enter now the image that we put onto the fog server is here it's the new xubuntu server image just like the one that we had captured into the fog server so the next step that we would do is simply select that image and then push enter. Image will be deployed directly onto this computer and it will become a Linux computer for students to use. And you'll see a similar screen that you saw when the image was being captured by the fog server. This is just the progress of the image being pushed from the fog server deployed onto this desktop.